We are baseball focused this time of year. JP Morosi, and rightfully so, it consumes us. But there are moments we realize it's about more than just the game, right? Hurricane Ian devastating parts of the Southeast. Mets and Braves supposed to play in Atlanta this weekend to decide the East. Any contingency plans? What's the league saying? Good morning. Lauren, good morning. At the moment, the series is scheduled to go forward as planned. Three games, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. MLB officials have been working on different contingencies. One report said that there was a possibility of there being a double header on Sunday if the weather was adverse tomorrow for the series opener. But again, the most recent projections are saying that Hurricane Ian is likely to not affect Atlanta as directly as other areas of the Southeast. So right now, the hope is that Friday's game will go forward as scheduled. But certainly, Lauren, as you point out, this is far more important than the game itself. And for all fans and all members of the baseball family who want to help, MLB is getting involved, partnering with the Red Cross to help those most directly affected by Hurricane Ian, as they had with Hurricane Fiona as well. So we certainly encourage everybody who wants to help. You can go to redcross.org slash MLB. So necessary. We are thinking and praying of everyone affected. So I, I, now I'm thinking about the rotation. And, and Jacob deGrom, will he pitch in the opener of that series? Is Buck going to move him up? What's the move? Lauren, that's exactly what Buck Showalter announced after yesterday's game, in fact. Jacob deGrom is now being moved up to start in Friday's series opener. Again, the assumption there is that the game will happen as scheduled Friday, which would then allow deGrom to potentially be available as the schedule swings back around and maybe – pitch on the final day of the season as well, depending on where the NL East race stands by then. But this, uh, I think certainly for the Mets, it allows them to do a couple things. Number one, it keeps DeGrom available for game 162, but also the first win the Mets would have this weekend would give them the season series advantage over the Atlanta Braves. And that's really important in this world of the new playoff format in which there is no game 163. So Claiming the tiebreaker with one win this weekend is immense for the New York Mets. So, again, having their, their very best on the mound. Certainly, DeGrom last weekend was not his actual usual self. But I think having him now uh, starting the, the series opener for them would be certainly a breath of fresh air and, and get them really catapulted with a lot of momentum in this pivotal series in the National League We East. need a little drama heading into October. It's how we do our best work, right? One of those teams will get a first round by. The Astros certainly will. But now they're trying to figure out Jordan Alvarez's ankle and how it will be affected and what his playing time could look like come October. What's the word out of Houston? Right, Lauren. It's a really interesting situation right now for the Astros. They do hope that he'll be back in the lineup on Friday, but uh, it's now one more issue. It's been a, been a series of nagging issues for Jordan Alvarez here in the second half of the season. We've heard a lot about the hand issues that he's dealt with at different times, and now it's the ankle. So he did leave uh, the most recent game early, of course, because of the ankle issue. We know how productive he's been. There's certainly, I think, some argument that Alvarez potentially is, is the number three spot on some AL MVP ballots. He's been that productive, uh, certainly from the left-hand side. Uh, with, with apologies to Otani, he might actually be the best left-handed bat in the American League at the moment. You see where he ranks among the leaders. Again, those 37 home runs, huge for the Houston Astros. So, Lauren, the hope is that getting him back in the lineup on Friday is, is something that's going to be attainable for him, and he'll have to find a way to manage, with the off days coming up, these various issues that he's dealt with in the second half, the hands, the ankle. I think the, the off days, Lauren, in the first part of the postseason in particular should be helpful to Alvarez. Remember, the Astros will have a bye in the first weekend, and then there's that off day in between games one and two, and then one more between games two and three of the division series. So I think if they can get Alvarez back on the field this weekend, Lauren, it's going to help Alvarez be in the best physical state as he enters the postseason. Injuries are part of it. Nobody, JP, is 100% right now in the season. Adam Wainwright dealing with dead arm, and Dan Plesak was on the show the other day, and he said, that ideally you'd like to take a start off. I'm sure he could do that, but there's not a lot of time. What's the plan? Lauren, it's a great question. I think for now, the, the Cardinals are certainly still focused on having Wainwright start a game for them in that first wild card weekend. That appears to be where things are trending. You consider what he's been able to do all season long. Again, uh, maybe more recently, there have been some struggles with the dead arm, but you look at the way the Cardinals could have a path to the World Series. 
you have to expect Wainwright's going to get a start at some point in time on that first weekend. They also have the ability to potentially piggyback some of their starting depth and have different starters available for them in relief roles or bulk roles. Jose Quintana has at least some experience in that type of a role in the past. Jordan Montgomery, we know how valuable he's been for them. And Flaherty himself could actually be maybe a bulk guy out of the bullpen and really utilize his great stuff out of the pen in that role going forward in October. So Ole Marmol has some big decisions to make. Fortunately for the Cardinals, the, the division has been secured, so they can really, I think, take this next week or so and pace themselves a little bit. But they're hoping, I'm sure, that Wainwright, whether it means he starts one more game in the regular season, he should be ready to go on that first weekend. It's unclear if he gets game one, two, or three, but the Cardinals right now, we know this, and D. Rose talked about it, this is a dangerous team in the postseason because of the combination of experience and also this infusion of talent from the trade deadline, a couple MVP candidates on the corner infield spots. The Cardinals are a team that no one wants to face in October. Everything feels urgent right now. Don't you love it? I do. J.P. Morosi on the inside love corner. It. Thank Thanks, you Lauren. so much.